Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I'm going to be doing a memory spread in my recollections planner for the week of July 8th to July 14th. And this kit is from the Graceful Planner. This is my very first time using a full kit from her shop. The only other kit I think I've used is one in my Hobonichi. But I will probably save the story for another time. But um, this kit is non-foiled, but the other three kits I did get were foiled and there was a lot of cracking in the foil. So I was really, really disappointed for two reasons. The first reason is her shop is a little bit more on the pricier end, in my opinion. And secondly, there was so much hype about her shop. Whenever I received the products, I was just disappointed because I feel like if your prices are higher, your quality should be better. That's just my opinion. Um, but, you know, to each their own, I just wanted to put my two cents out there. But I will show you, so this kit is called Wild at Heart and I'm gonna show you a different take on this kit. So these two kits um, are like the same clip art but this one's from Sweet Bella XOXO and she did it all like black and white and gray so I really like her take on it with like, like the muted pinks and peach. So this is really perfect I feel for almost any time. It's almost kind of like um, perfect for a take on Halloween I think just because of all the blacks and with this being black and white I don't know that's just my opinion like I wouldn't mind using it for the week of Halloween if you don't like Halloween kits and this one um, I think is a little bit more feminine and just it's just a different take on it but certainly perfect for something like maybe an anniversary or um, I mean you could possibly do this during someone's wedding if you're not like in the wedding but it's just like a celebration I think that would be really cool too so yeah let's get right into this kit it is called wild at heart like I said and so this is the full box and then you do get nine full boxes I'll just give you guys a close-up and what I will say is I do I think the grainy effect was intentional and I do like that about it and here you have some headers down there you have the washi strips, appointment labels, extra washi strips, um, or two different types of like appointment labels. And her paper is really, really thick. I don't know if it's re like, I think it's a removable mat, but I don't know if you can like reposition it as, like several times. I don't know. And then here you have all of the headers with the words, some uh, three habit trackers, which is very generous, three heart checklists, regular checklist, and some more washi strips. Here you have more of the functional things such as the flags, um, longer flags, some icons, deco pieces, the hexagons, the weekend one that says weekend vibes, and bow paper clips. That's really cute. And then here you have the, um, I guess these are just functional boxes. So this one says notes. I had to ask her what this one said. It, it actually says brain dump. And this one says notes as well. Then you have the full heart checklist, some extra forms of like habit trackers Monday through Sunday, which is neat. So if you don't use all of these, you can certainly pull them into any other spread. You have some extra headers. You have half boxes, some bill dues, quarter boxes, some, some that are like a little bit bigger than quarter boxes. These are cute. These are like quarter scallop boxes with like lace detail. That's really pretty. So there's a lot that comes with this kit. Like it's a very deluxe kit and um, I don't know. I certainly have a lot to play with. So if you are interested in watching this video, then stay tuned. I'm going to lay down my washi and I didn't white out the lines for three reasons. The first one is I can't stand the way white out looks on the recollections paper. Secondly, I felt like the washi was dark enough. And then thirdly, the lines on the recollections planner are a lot more faint than the Erin Condren. So I feel like you can really get away with it. These date covers are from Jackson Pepper and the rose date dots are from Honey Inked. I felt like they matched the floral theme very well. So I certainly wanted to use them. Now that I looked at it, initially I wasn't going to use any foil. so. I didn't pull in foiled date dots, but I have these in gold foil and I should have as well looking at it now, but I was just too lazy to like remove them. But I also liked the black throughout the spread. I think it kind of balanced it out a lot more. And here's where it shows like the whiteout does not match the recollections paper at all. I do not like it, but it is what it is. And the height of the date area is so much higher or taller. Or it might be the same, but I think it's just the way they write down the number in the day. It's just taller. So I struggled with covering that. And I will be using the headers from the kit 
and this is not the, in line with how I typically plan. I don't use headers in every single box, but with the way I tried to use this planner before, I failed and struggled so, so bad. Um, I feel like the only way to make it work, since there's headers already built in, I had to use headers or um, just cover them with something else. But I also don't like the way whiteout looks, so I didn't want the whiteout to be showing. And with my Iron Condren, I can get away with using whiteout and then writing over it or having the whiteout peep, peep through. But with this, I just cut in. And the paper is just so much more like unforgiving. I don't like the paper in the recollections at all. Um, but it works because I want to have an extra planner to plan with and just put down stickers. And I have several kits I can use that I want to use. So it is what it is. <laughs> And then I'm going to use the deco pieces and I try to make them look unintentional by like putting them, you know, like on above every single date cover, but not purposefully directly in the middle, if that makes sense. So I just mismatched those and then I put down all of my full boxes and I will get back to my sidebar. But what I did was put down the quote box and then I'm putting down a quarter scallop box, which is so gorgeous and both of the habit trackers and then I'm going to layer the... Um, header that says fitness over that one habit tracker and this no spend script is from Kinsey's creations now I'm going to put down the rest of the headers and I was just kind of figuring out if I wanted to do this or not but I felt like I really should just because I didn't want to struggle with the spread and I wanted to use up as much of the spread as possible and I ran out of the floral ones so on Sunday I will be using another like quarter scallop box but I think it worked out well because I layered the weekend banner above that and I think it turned out really pretty. So the colors in this kit are so so gorgeous. I'm really really glad I used it. I know this was like um this is it could be a summer kit but it also is I think a little darker for, than a summer kit and I don't know it could be an anytime kit honestly so I just went with it <laughs> and then I'm going to use a meal plan header for my Monday through Sunday tracker this week with a three heart box and then I'm going to use the last piece of deco at the very bottom just because I really wasn't tracking anything as this is a really um, like late memory spread. So now to the day by day. I'm going to use an Anna Lunico pillow that says hello gorgeous. I love the, eye the eyelashes. They are so full. And then the way I'm going to mark work this week, I think I had like only a three day work week. I used like the arrows that came with the kit and then these work scripts are all from um, Sweet Bella XOXO. I'm going to use the envelope that came with the kit to mark Happy Mail and then layered a Simply Watercolor Co. bow above that. I love using these long flags and I'm going to use that to just mark that I was pretty much sick the entire time <laughs> and I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that. I'm going to use a um, Graceful Planner, what's this called, like roll, like movie roll, YouTube roll, whatever it's called to mark that I did a Plan With Me binge and that Plan With Me binge script is from Kenzie's Creations. These really cute like dividers this I don't know what you would call them they're very fancy though they're from Harriet Wright Designs and this will change later on but I used a hexagon from the kit as well as a sleep mask from Anna Luna Co to mark that I slept in um, what I'm going to do later is just put that over a full box no over a half box just to add a little bit more dimension in that area and then I marked work the same way I just mismatched the different colors of the um, the arrows and then I'm marking sushi on a quarter box and that is from Magic Prince Co and I'm so obsessed with these quarter scallops I love them I wish every single kit had these and um, they're like little doily designs too which is super cute and that foil to do script is from Honey Inked and I just cut down a checklist or no I think this checklist actually came in three I can't remember but I just used that to mark like things and errands I did and then the vacuum sticker that came with the kit and layered a Simply Watercolor Kobo above that as well. So I am losing my breath but <laughs> I also want to just preface this because I'm looking at my planner right now and this kind of paper lifts and I do not like that. So after having it sit for a while I've just literally had it been sit like had it sitting on my desk and I'm using it now to do this voiceover. The corners of a lot of the stickers are lifting and I do not like that. I think it's just a type of paper, you know, it is what it is, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. So if that's something that bothers you, just take that into consideration. I think it's very similar to like the Happy Planner sticker paper. It's more like paper than it's just matte paper. I don't think it's repositional at all like I've stated like I that I will state again at the end. So, just bear that in mind. 
I'm going to use another quarter box to mark day off and use Magic Prince Co. balloons. I put a bow above that and then that day off script is also from Honey Inked. I'm going to use another hexagon with a Paper Muse Crafts camera to mark filming and that film is from Kinsey's Creations. I layered two hearts. The bigger one is from Clever Gal Crafts and the smaller one is from Tassel Planner to mark that my friends arrived. They were staying with us for this week. And then I used a Paper Shire, formerly known as Toffee Bananas, her breakfast flat lay to mark that we went to the Handsome Biscuits, like this breakfast place. And then I used a quarter box with a Clever Gal Crafts bow to mark that we just played a, I believe it's a Canadian game, it's called 13 Dead End Drive, but it's so fun. If you love Clue, I think you'll really like that. And then I'm going to use on another one of those like squiggles from Harriet Wright Designs. Now on to Thursday, I'm going to use a flag that came with a kit, one of the smaller ones, to mark a, another day off. So I took Wednesday and Thursday off because my friends arrived on Wednesday and then we had like so many plans on Thursday. And one of those plans was to get sushi at one of our favorite places in Yorktown, or her favorite place in Yorktown. And I used that with a half box. That sushi sticker is from Avenue K Design. And then I'm going to use another Harriet Wright Designs, like Squiggle. I don't know the formal name she uses for it, so I do apologize. And I'm going to mark payday over that full box, and that is from Honey Inked in gold foil. I'm going to use a quarter box to mark wine tasting, and that was very, very delicious. I think we left, <laughs> I left with like six bottles of wine. And that wine bottle and glass is from Crafts by Towie. And then I just layered two bows um, from Simply Watercolor Co. And that ice cream is from Rose and Tea Shop to mark that we grabbed Ben and Jerry's while we were there. And um, this is a bow paper clip from the kit to just mark that I went ahead and just planned um, later on this night just to have some me time and to just catch up with my YouTube channel because this was a really chaotic wick, wick, chaotic week. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I was sick, I had friends visiting, it was like the holiday before, and I was catching up on work, so it was, just, it was really chaotic for me, and I think a lot that had to do with me staying sick was just because I was so busy, go, 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 and I didn't really have time to just relax. And so this is what I meant on Tuesday, is I used um, those stickers above a half box. So it feels so nice to finish a full sheet of stickers, so that's why I just wanted to show that those were from Sweet Bella XOXO. They are my favorite, one of my favorite work scripts ever. They're just so beautiful. And I cut down a quarter box to have a little bit more white space on both sides and used a Sticky Sloth Designs fork and spoon to mark that we just, I went and grabbed lunch with my bestie, my work bestie, and I used a, um, what's this called? Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji with a, like a cute little flower in her ear to mark that my mom visited because she is also good friends with my friend. <laughs> like we've all known each other for a long time. And I used a tassel planner heart above that. And um, my friend Marina made us Mexican food and you know she's Mexican so she made authentic Mexican food which is always appreciated. And anytime she cooks I'm just always like I can't go anywhere else because literally she's the only one that can make good Mexican food to me. I just I don't know. High expectations, standard is set, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I use a My Spoiled Planner meal icon to mark that she made us dinner. And another Harriet Wright Designs um, little squiggle at, above the Game Night sticker from Avenue K Design. And I trimmed down a longer flag just because it, would, it wouldn't it would fit in that section. So I just wanted, wanted it to be um, like the perfect height. And on Saturday, my, it was my boyfriend and my anniversary, I used a Clever Gal Crafts Heart and a Happy Anniversary script from Kinsey's Creations. I also used another flag and a coffee cup from Clever Gal Crafts with a Simply Watercolor Co. bow above that. And the coffee first script is from Kinsey's Creations. Now I'm going to use an edit and voiceover script from Honey Inked and another bow paper clip that came with the kit. I also got my nails done that day, so I used a nail polish sticker from Honey Inked and some, I think one of the bows is from The Giving Girl and the second one is from Simply Watercolor Co. And sometimes I cut like the lid of the nail polish, but other times I just leave it like this, just depends on the spacing. So I do like doing that, it's really fun and creative to just like play around with like spacing and stuff like that. And um, under that, I'm going to use a, what is this? It's a half box <laughs> to mark that I did a YouTube binge. That TV is from Samantha May Sticks. And then I'm going to use another like squiggle under that. And I'm going to use a Magic Prince Co. pizza to mark that we had Atlas Pizza for dinner that night. I'm really glad that I ended up using 
like a lot of these squiggles throughout the week and more consistently because sometimes I have a tendency to forget to pull them in more consistently so I'll do them like after the fact and I want to make sure like it's all on camera and I do apologize my desk is now in front of my window in my office so you can sometimes see the light uh, you know coming through from like the sun coming through from the blind so I do have to adjust that sometimes and then on to Sunday I'm going to use another Anna Luna Co sleep mask and the super cute like coffee um, icon from Clever Gal Crafts it's like her butt first coffee um, what you would call it her butt first coffee sheet what happened to my clips for did I just lose all of that I think I did <laughs> Um, so real quick, I used a quarter scallop to mark that I just uploaded two videos and that really cute like vine divider is from Netty Designs. I also used a barbecue sticker from my spoiled planner and a like laundry, folding laundry sticker from Paper Shire and that gold fold laundry strip is from, or laundry script, sorry guys, is from Honey Inked. And then I used like a cooking icon from the kit, as well as a Simply Watercolor Co. bow, and a meal prep I script from Kinsey's Creations. I can't talk, I'm so sorry. And when I mess up, it's even worse because I'm realizing I completely forgot to, either the camera ran out of battery, I think that's what it is. I think my battery ran out and I didn't even... I wasn't even filming the top part of Sunday, but now I'm going to be using some like border stickers from Sticky Sloth Designs, and I also use some full box overlay stickers from Netty Designs. I felt like those were perfect and just really cute because they kind of match the theme a little bit. And I think initially I wasn't going to use foil, but now that like when I was starting to pull out my icons, I was like, I really don't have a choice because. A lot of my icons are foiled and I like how it turned out though because it wasn't overly foiled and it was just in my opinion perfectly balanced for my style of planning and I really hope that you guys liked it too so I can't wait for you guys to see the full spread. Here are the leftover stickers and this is a very deluxe kit so there's plenty left over. I really enjoyed using these quarter scallop boxes and her bow paper clips are so cute. I especially love long flags whenever they do come with kits. They're really nice to mark a larger piece of time. Um, however, I don't do that often but here is a Viv Wiggle. I do want to be honest with you guys about this kit and the kind of paper it is. So it is a beautiful kit and there's a lot to work with. However, I noticed that the paper, I think it's like permanent matte paper, um, but it's really, really hard to remove or reposition. So if you're gonna do that, please use undo or um, just hope there's another box of the same thing you wanna use, like the same color. For example, this one, I had to replace this. Thankfully, I had an extra one, but otherwise I would have had to use like a different color if I was trying to make this flow better. But here's what I'm saying. So I use, I typically use like tweezers or um, like my slice tool to lift something up in the corner and then reposition it. But the paper splits. And I've even noticed this with like paper shire stuff. I will end up trashing something which stinks because I don't want to waste a sticker. So just be very careful if you start seeing it like tearing the, the paper or tearing itself. Like the sticker starts tearing apart. Just use undo especially if you don't want to waste it. But I loved doing this and I'm really glad it came with deco pieces because if you know with the recollections, the date um, the date and the number is taller. So it's really hard to just cover it with one, with a single date cover. So you might have to, you know, use washi or deco pieces or something else to cover it. So I try to position the deco pieces kind of above that in the middle. So that way that whiteout doesn't show since the whiteout doesn't match the exact color of the recollections paper, which I still don't understand why to this day. But regardless, um, I hope you guys don't mind that I didn't fill out my sidebar. This is a memory spread from like two months ago. But yeah, I enjoyed how this turned out. This kit is absolutely gorgeous. I love what she did with it. It's so, so pretty. And this is kind of proof that you can certainly use an Erin Condren kit in a recollections planner if you're trying to find something more affordable. I typically don't plan like this because I, um, you, as you guys know, I usually just use headers on the top row. But with this, since there are preset headers in the recollections already, I wanted to cover them. I could have honestly just made do with these ones because they match the kit fine, but I wanted to use as much of the kit as possible. But I still think it turned out very pretty, and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Be certain to check out all of the shops in the description be below. Um, comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope 
you guys have an amazing day. See you next time. Bye.